and they work together as a team. We have a serious problem with Oriental Bittersweet, which is a, an invasive vine that will topple an adult tree, just the weight of it. Goats really like woody invasives, vines in particular. One goat will hold a branch down, and then the others will come in and, and feed upon it. And if one is kind of stray, the others will call them in and say, hey, come on over. And it's, it's just, it's really interesting to, to watch their personalities and the dynamics within the herd. Here's an example of where it's kind of wrapping itself like a braid up. And then as soon as it hits another structure like this tree, then it can continue to go up to the top of the tree. Goats are very charismatic, but it has been a great attraction for people. You know, people bring their families out and their friends to enjoy them. So to me, it's a wonderful thing in that it's serving an ecological function. It actually is doing work, land management work, but they're adorable at the same time. We had volunteers already managing invasives out here, but it was incredibly difficult because of the species, the Oriental Bittersweet, just as this tangly mess. And what the goats have allowed it to, them to do is be able to get better access, so it's much easier, and they're much more efficient and more fun to uh, treat the invasives um, when they do come out. We want to manage for the invasive species here, but also create a view shed. And this is one of our most critical pieces. And if people can't see the river, they're not going to want to come out and use this trail. In the places where they had been, we have found tremendous number of native plants that had not been there before.